Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And most importantly, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Now, if you want to take a step further and support my channel, then I suggest you join the paid channel membership. It is $1.99 per month for exclusive content. All right, now that we got all that out the way. Oh yeah, one other thing. If you want to follow me on Instagram, which I am asking everyone to do that, it is Miss Serenity Smith Babies on Instagram. All right, so I've been like going back and forth, like how do I present this new baby to everybody and share my baby? I've been wanting to share him. I've been taking lots of pictures of him and I was debating like should I keep this one to myself <laughs> um so all right so basically this baby name is Brayden and Brayden is named Brayden because it matches Tariq and I probably said this in another video because I have a kind of like a kit review type video that I'm going to either attach to this or upload later I haven't decided yet but Brayden and Tariq were best friends on Power. A little show on TV. It was the stars and one of them, I don't know. But um so and Tariq was a black boy. Um and to uh Brayden was Caucasian. White, whatever, I don't know. I don't know which way is the political correct way. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, um, seriously though. But yeah, so I was like, oh, what? It makes sense. Let me just do Brayden with Tariq. My mom named Tariq, so worked out perfectly. Um, so I am going to just show him. And you guys are going to probably already know who he was. If I had his feet out, you probably would know already. But anyway. Yeah, so... He is for my personal collection, um, different than what I normally normally paint uh, as far as skin tone goes. Oh, I need to move Joey. Um, so yeah, I'm you know I I normally paint different skin tones, but I am really really in my zone of just trying a little of this and a little of that and I am happy to present Brayden to you guys so there's Brayden Ta -da! so I know many of you already know who he is what sculpt he is um I'm sure of it but let me see I'll zoom in a little bit you guys can see he is the Bubbles Awake, sculpted by Claire Teller and painted by me. He'll soon be rooted by me. He does have some eyelashes, but you can barely see them. Um, so yeah, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, so he actually have eyelashes and I'm trying to debate, are they in the wrong place or not? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, nevertheless, he has eyelashes. Um, I did do eyebrows, but I took them off because I want his hair and his eyebrows to kind of match. And I want him to have a lighter color hair than what I have here in stock. Well, I did find some lighter hair later. But anyway, nevertheless, he is like almost done, but not quite. Not, not all the way. Um, I will share pictures of him maybe included in the clip just simply because... He has on shoes today and I don't really want to take him out of his shoes and stuff. So I just wanted to share him and now I can start like flooding the time, <laughs> the, t uh, the feeds in Instagram and Facebook of his photos. And um, so yeah, this is my birthday baby. Um, of course, like most of my babies that I end up keeping in my personal collection has a story. He has one. It's a more personal story. So... I can't, I can't spill the beans on that. 
I can't spill the tea on it. But um, yeah, so anyway, I enjoyed painting him and I absolutely love my little Brayden. And so he is now my second cuddle baby. And he's the first cuddle baby that I ever got with feet. Um, my other baby, India, is the first cuddle baby I have with hands. Well, actually, I had another baby before her that I was painting, but that one was painted to sell. Um, but yeah, India has hands, but he has hands and feet. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think these cuddle babies are taking over the world. <laughs> if you it's funny because I keep saying like if you hold one like at first it sounds like oh that's so crazy or you see them in just their cloth you're like why would I want that or whatever the case may be but once you actually hold them or once you see them dressed up like who knows that he has cloth underneath it's just like our reborns like who knows that those babies actually have a cloth body underneath um so I don't I don't know like I was one of those naysayers like oh no yeah I'm not I'm not into that yeah it's not my thing blah 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 and then once I put the first one together I was like oh I could like this and then India just won my heart it was just like ah like it just felt good the weight and everything so um I think I talk about how I weighted him and how um, I feel about his body and all that stuff in the other video. And I just don't want to repeat the same information. So one thing I am going to say. Um, so when we start getting into hands and feet with the cuddles and stuff like that. The only thing is that I really love. The, one of the big things that I love about just having the head without hands and feet is that you really can just change the babies like non-stop all day every day two times a day three times a day if you want not worry about paint being rubbed or excessive wear and tear on the the paint right because it's cloth so I really really love that when it's just the head it's just it just makes it very simple when you get into the hands and the feet you still get to have fun with the clothes like I normally wouldn't pay, put my babies on like dark jean clothing, but a cuddle baby, mainly ones that don't have like feet, I would put them on now because um, I don't have to worry about the color, dye transfer or anything on them because it's cloth. Um, with the hands and feet, you still do have to be careful with, you know, when you're putting clothes, just make sure you, when you, like when you put their hands through the clothes that you make sure it's not rubbing against like them their uh their silicone um and then same with the feet when you're pulling the clothes off or taking them on just make sure you're not constantly rubbing and all that because you're excited that you can do it because of the rest is mostly cloth but you have to be a little bit more cautious with hands and feet so you kind of fall back in a little bit of that just a little bit not that bad though um but then, you know, so there's a catch-22. The hands and feet also gives you more clothing options. Like, you don't have to worry about hammocks. You don't have to worry about the feet being in or, you know, having to put on. Well, you could wear feet out. You just put on socks. But you can have the feet out and you can have the hands out. So, you have a little bit more posing and stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's showing hands and feet. But, um, so they're both great. You just got to know the care is Taking care of them is a little bit different and handling them a little bit different. But yeah. So again, like I said, I just wanted to share him really quick. I'm not going to make this video super long. Um, he has an open mouth. He sucks his thumb. Fairly easily, he will take his thumb. Well, normally I just don't. I'm trying not to. <laughs> To make it look forceful. But yeah, he will suck his thumb. He'll actually put his whole thumb in his mouth and not, you don't have to worry about it falling out and all that and stuff. So he, he does do that really well. Um, I took my time. I put a lot of detail in this baby. Uh, it's, it's one of them things where, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to say that I do love him 
and I am excited to have him. And he is a sweet little boy. Can you see him? Say you see me? Do you see me? Do you see what I see? So he's just in time for Disney Monday. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So of course I'm doing a quick voiceover. These are some of the photos that I've taken over the past few days. There's a lot more to come, so follow me on Instagram so you can see the remainders. Thank you guys. Bye.